Now, last week, um, I think that was on Saturday, I did a video on Apostle Kingsley Urbanisi. So, uh, after doing that video, I, I was like, there was no need of making a part two because I remember I promised I was going to come up with a part two. Um, even though that I expected that it wouldn't, it wouldn't have gone down well with everybody who listens to the video or who saw it. As long as that name is, you know, was captured in that video, a lot may not even watch it, but they will actually be offended. And so I saw a comment that made me to want to do the video again, part two. And this part two is quite and completely different from part one. You know, what was contained in the part one is not the same thing as in part two. And so that comment read the thoughts, um, says, my brother, if you doubt him, it won't be better you ask God before going public. This Kinsley, I don't think he's hungry, neither. Just woke up to cook up such an instruction. Now, so I understand where this person is coming from. And I never called Kinsley a hungry person. And I, didn't, I don't think I called him a thief. Now, but what I aimed at was that all was end time deceit. Now, sometimes, and almost all of the time, if an instruction or prophecy revelation does not tally or agree with the word of God, the Bible says, let the dreamers dream their dreams and tell their dreams according to their dreams. Now, the dream of a dreamer that does not agree with the word of God is considered a chaff. Right? So, in the later a part of this video, I'm going to read to you a scripture that supports that. So, having laid this foundation, I want anybody and everybody that is listening to this to understand that it doesn't take someone being hungry to become a tool of deception. Now, somehow, sometimes, it is basically not that the person intentionally wants to deceive. Now, I've made a video here where I said, I heard that from Akneta Nozoma, that it takes Satan to deceive an innocent person, a good person. And then that good person in turn will be used to deceive others. I don't know King Silubani personally, but all of the things he has been spewing as revelations and prophecies, check them with the, the word of God, balance them with the Bible, you will find out that they don't agree. And as long as they don't agree with the Bible, for me, it is a no, 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 no. So that is where I stand. I don't need to go to God to ask from God. For instance, what I want to read to you now, what he said. And this one is worse than the first one that you saw. Now, I'm not going to say much about that, but let us delve into the video. Please ensure that you watch till the end so that you will understand completely what I'm about to review to you in this video. Thank you so much and God bless you. I'll be back. You are welcome to the End Time Truth Television, the channel for the lovers of truth, for the truth of the end time. So if you are a lover of truth, Give us a subscription and God bless you. Shalom. Grace and mercy beyond the Christian bound. Uh, this is, you know, I put an underline there. I believe it is beyond the Christian boundary. Now, the other one should have to do with the Apostle Obani Kinsley. See, so uh, I just chose to leave it the way, you know, it was. Grace and mercy beyond the Christian bound uh, Ronanimous uh, Sotul. I put that on the line there. I believe that that was a typo that a person who copied and pasted and sent to somebody else made a mistake or made a blunder there. So I want to believe that this is grace and mercy beyond the Christian boundary. Um, this that's, Whether it's unanimous or whatever, but the other one that has to do with O-S-T-L-E as maybe his apostle, the AP, you know, went off Apostle Bani, Kingsley C. But the important thing is that this this message is beyond Christian boundary or the boundary of Christianity. And it was dated 18th day of April, 2003. Now, I want you to look at the place I highlighted in red with green background. Those are the things you are going to look at. And it is synonymous with what we, we know with, um, you know, the men, is it the God of men of this time? You know, so it says, keep your insults to yourself and generations to avoid the regret. Go and make research about the blasphemy against the Holy Spirit before you put yourself into trouble. This is a warning. If you discourage another person from believing the message, the blood of, of the person will be on your hands. And I see all these as threats. Now, 
here is the message. So the message begins here. It says, Son, God sent me to to embark on the 200 days of fasting and prayer without food. Number of people in the entire world who will enter heaven will not be up to 250 people. And I make bold to say, this is a lie. This is a lie. No matter how corrupt Nigeria is, I'm using Nigeria, in fact, my own state, no matter how corrupt my state is, no matter how bad, no matter how bad Lagos state is, no matter how bad my local government is, we would have more than 250 persons from my own local government. So this is a lie. Now, it says, the people who claim that they are following God, their names are not even found in the book of life because of errors that are found in their individual lives. And all efforts that God has made to see that those people who claim that he is their God, and even, so I'm, I'm reading this as it is, so I will remove that I am, and I will start from, even know him. That means that these people who claim that he is their God, uh, maybe they don't even know him to uh, expand his kingdom. I'll start again. The people who claim that they are following God, their names are not even found in the book of life because of errors that are found in their individual lives and all efforts that God has made to see that those people who claim that he is their God even know him to expand his kingdom as well as increase the number of the people that would enter heaven. Since the people he prepared his kingdom for are not interested anymore in it, but in the things of the world, what God has chosen to do is what is written in the book of Matthew chapter 22 verses 1 to 10. This Matthew chapter 22 verses 1 to 10 was where Jesus was given a, you know, a metaphor that the, the, the Jews, the Israelites, originally, you know, were the people of God. But then because of their own ways, God had decided to, you know, put them pending and bring in the Gentiles. You and I were brought in. The Apostle Paul, in, ex, in expressing that as well, compared us, the Gentiles, as wide olive branches that were grafted into the, the you know, the real olive um, tree in itself. And he said we should stay there with utmost carefulness. So those whom God prepared his kingdom for are no longer interested in it. So God has gone to those who don't know him in order to bring them into his kingdom to replace the many people whom he prepared for it. Now, when we look at this, all the effort, despite all the efforts, the the conditionality that God has put in place is that Jesus has come, Jesus has died. And anyone that expresses his faith in the Lord Jesus and the, the sacrificial work he did on the cross of Calvary receives, receives the gift of salvation. And this person is regulated by the constitution of heaven and there could be errors. But then the Bible gives us room for repentance and forgiveness and cleansing. Now, so we understand that this is the end time that so many of us are into the world so many of us and that is the, the you know also largely the fault of the kind of messages that people are preaching today and people are listening to today people are hearing today i did a video last time where a very popular pastor preacher a bishop said that they were not called to preach about hell they were called to preach about faith science and wonders and prosperity and so when you don't remind a person about something you know it is a problem there are times we also saw in a video where a pastor said it's okay for you to feel honey in your head even when it is not for your partner. And I said that, you know, in context, according to the scripture, it's not good. And you see, the problem with this is that when people have issues with what I'm saying, you know, I, I don't know whether you're looking at me as an angel that came from a different planet that is not also regulated by what the kingdom says. So, in spite of the fact that I am still in the flesh like you, I'm a man of like passion like you, and I am also struggling to meet up with the demands of heaven, you know, for the by the grace of God. Now, that wouldn't make me to see B and say that C is B because it will give you a soft landing. It won't. Now, it is better that you hear the truth and decide what to do with the truth. I think that is fair enough. Now, we'll come back to talk about these things. And so he moved on. He said, so these people are going to buy oil. Mm, no, there will be an oil that these people will, will be anointed with. Now, listen. The oil will be oil of covenant to enter heaven, and it is for every person, including those who are not born again. No matter their present religion or faith, as long as they said that they would, that they would, whenever, I believe that's what that place is saying, that they would, whenever someone comes to you, that they would, okay? Now, whenever someone comes to you and say that he wants you to anoint him or her, do not hesitate to anoint the person. Ezekiel chapter 18, verse 4 
uh, it will be interesting if we read this place. Now, don't don't just be in a hurry. Hold on and let's go together. Behold all souls are mine. As the soul of the Father, so also the soul of the Son is mine. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. Now, this is good. And this, are, this is an indictment. Now, he started by saying that whether the person is born again or not. Now, this oil is the oil that will come you know convert no that will qualify the person it's not even about conversion now it says son when you anoint people with the oil tell them not to wash the place in which their faces were anointed with the oil until after 24 hours if they wash it the covenant is cancelled and the oil is wasted so the oil is meant to stay at the place where they are you know it was anointed for 24 hours before the person would either take his bath or whatever, maybe when you want to take your bath, you avoid that place. For instance, if it was anointed on your forehead, which is the most likely place, you can take your bath from your neck, you know, region and down and leave that place till 24 hours. So now, purpose of entering heaven does not mean that God wants you to change the pattern of your church or the way your con congregants dress. Do not tell them to join your church to take people to heaven and not church assignments to increase your co congregants. Now, note that this assignment now. It's not about even telling them about Jesus. You don't need to tell them about Jesus. All you need is to anoint them with oil. So the oil now replaces the same effort that God put in place because the only known effort that God put in place is the death of Jesus. The love of God has been commended towards us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. God gave his only begotten son. And while we were very far away, when we had no knowledge of God, the Lord gave his son Jesus. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Now whosoever believeth in him, not whosoever was anointed by oil, should not perish but have everlasting life. God has not sent forth his word to condemn the world, but that the world through him might have everlasting life. Now but here, this apostle is saying that the same God, the same God, the Bible said that whosoever say that Jesus Christ is Lord, whosoever say that Jesus Christ is the son of God, the same is a child of God. The same shall be saved. If you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God was able to take him to the land of the dead and brought him up back by resurrection, this gives you salvation. Now, but then, salvation here now is being offered to people on a platter of oil. And so, you see it, this is why so many people will be against me now because this is quite easier to believe so, irrespective of what you're doing, irrespective of your ways of life, just come to King Silubani and he will anoint you with this oil. I do not know the make of the oil. The other time, Bushiri had an oil that was used by Prophet Samuel on King David that made him a king. So, this time around, there was, it's not written in the Bible that there was any oil that God kept for the salvation of mankind. But in our time and generation, we have a pastor that is saying to people that God told him this. And don't make mistake. thousands would believe this. Thousands would want to do this. Because like I said the other time, you know, in the other video, nobody wants to go to hell. Irrespective of how we think that people are, you know, that people don't care about heaven and hell. No, they care. They don't want to go to hell. But then, they look at it when somebody is trying to, you know, talk about the merits and the demerits. They want to look at you as a legalist. So when you are offering something like this to them, it becomes easier for them to believe, oh, this one is easier, this one is more suitable. So he said, son, when you anoint people with the oil, you tell them not to wash the place. No, not that place. He says, the oil will be oil of covenant to enter heaven, and it is for every person, including those who are not born again, no matter their present religion or faith, as long as they said that they would. Whenever someone comes to you and says that he wants you to anoint him or her, do not hesitate to anoint the person now. Purpose of entering heaven does not mean that God wants you to change the pattern of your church or the way your congregants dress. Do not tell them to join your church, to take people to heaven and not church assignments to increase your congregants. Here, he is presenting it as though he cares a lot about people, uh, you know, entering heaven. I believe he cares anyway. He cares. Maybe he does. Maybe he does. Maybe he truly cares. But the truth is that, you know, with all this that we are seeing here, but all this that we're seeing here, it makes me a bit, you know, uh, worrisome that a so-called apostle will propagate this as the will of God for the people. Now, here I said, even if the person hates you or the person criticized you and still comes back for it, 
Now, this is noble. You, you don't withhold the message of love from anybody. But only that this is not about the message, it's about the oil. Now, which means what he's referring to now, maybe as I'm criticizing it now, if tomorrow I return to, because the date is still, there is still an opening, I think. I think it is till September, yes. There's still an opening. So, I'm criticizing it today being 22nd of May, 2023. So, maybe along the line, I decide to change my mind that I want this easy, easier way of entering heaven. So, I can actually go back for me to be anointed. He will not be angry and his agents around who are also having the oils will not be, be angry. Believe you me, a lot of, a, a lot of present day, present generation pastors of doom would be in this business. And even though he has not spoken about money here, I think I've not read about money here, a lot will be charging money for this. Because the oil is a special, a special oil that you do not know. And it's going to cost him 250 days of fast, even though that there is a contradiction here. 3rd April 2023 and 17th September 2023, this, you know, special date. After the stipulated date, you should stop anointing people with the oil. So, 3rd April 2023 and then 17th September 2023. But still keep to the 40 days prayers and fasting, which God gave you to pray for people. Christians who want to make heaven after you have collected their names. Now, this one links us back to those who would, you know, um, I think, remit their names, send their names for restitution. So any other pastor, maybe a subordinate pastor, a uh, pastor associate who believes in this oil thing would have to fast for 40 days, whereas Kinsley is going to fast for about 200 days. So um, then on the 27th day of April 2023, you will pray to God to forgive the people who submitted their names for their restitution prayer. God wants to increase the number of people that will enter heaven. Uh, that is his phone number. You can come... You, you can come with all the indigents of your community, worst enemies. If you violate the instruction, whatever that happens to you, you will have yourself to blame and I will not intercede for you. And then the phone numbers. Now, this uh, this threat is very, very annoying. This stand here, very annoying. And I see it as, you know, very annoying. I mean, I mean, when I say annoying, it's very annoying, you know, because I, I really do not understand what this men think that there are some of them that are like this. I find it difficult to, you know, to understand why they think that they are more important than the rest others. Now, when we go back to the threats, you know, in the beginning, first and foremost, he laid a foundation that he laid a foundation that would make someone like me seeing this, you know, you should be afraid of them. Uh, don't talk about it because when you discourage anybody, 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 then the blood of that person is your head so you say keep your insults to yourself and generations then i don't insult persons but only that that um you know people like him will always see um when when people disagree with them they will see it as an insult and also uh his followers too you see we see it as an insult now but to buttress my point jeremiah chapter 23 verse 28 says the prophet that had a dream let him tell a dream and he that hath my word, let him speak my word faithfully. What is the chaff to the wheat? Says the Lord. Here, there are two comparisons. The word and dream. If you have a dream, tell your dream. Call it a dream. If you want to be magnanimous enough, you can also, you know, uh, tell us that, yeah, it was your dream. And that you are thinking that the Lord is passing a message to you. But then you have to compare that first with the word of God. So he says, And he that hath my word, let him speak my word faithfully. Let's read with Amplified. The prophet who has a dream, let him tell his dream. But he who has my word, let him speak my word faithfully. So what I'm doing here is, I have the word of the Lord, and I am faithfully communicating it to you. And here there is a comparison between the word of God and dreams. Kingsley never told us how this came, but he only says son, because, you know, he's very, very, very dear. He's a son. All of the messages have always begun with son. What has straw in common with wheat? King James call it chaff. Or that chaff or straw. They are very light. They are very, very light. Little heat comes upon, it, up, upon them. They are, you know, they are gone. For what has straw in common with wheat for nourishment, says the Lord. And when you're talking about, you know, nourishment... Chaff and the wheat are incomparable. The wheat will give you nourishment, and the word of God is like is the, the wheat here yeah, for nourishment. So now you see the threat. Keep your insult to yourself and generations to avoid regret. 
go and make research about the blasphemy against the Holy Spirit before you put yourself into trouble. This is a warning, and I can categorically tell you that this is not from the Lord. You may have heard something. You may have had an encounter. You may have been innocently deceived, and you are being used to deceive others. But the truth is that this is not the word of God. The Lord cannot substitute the sacrifice of his son on the cross for an oil. No, it's not possible. The Bible tells us that the word of God is firmly fixed forever. Oh Lord, your word is eternal. Your word is fixed in the heavens. The word is settled in the heavens. And the word of God cannot be changed. He cannot suddenly in the 21st century, he's now looking at himself and like, it's like what I did with the, you know, with the sacrifice of my son will not be enough. So let's call on Kingsley to begin to do some anointing, you know. So this is, it, it, it is unfortunate that there are so many people that will believe this. Now, it is also quite important to note that Kingsley is now the intercessor. If he doesn't intercede for you, you ain't going anywhere. You won't make heaven. You won't, I do not know, many or any other thing that will happen to you, but definitely, if you don't follow this instruction, heaven's gate is shut against you. What an audacity. Now, brothers and sisters, the only way to avoid eternal hell is by giving your life to Jesus Christ and depending on his grace to live a God a godly life. If you're here and you're struggling with something, now, depend on the grace of the Lord. Don't depend on your wisdom, for the wisdom of man will fail. Now, depend on the grace of the Lord, and along the line of your journey, you will become an overcomer. All right? Don't settle for an easier way that is not even a way. An easier way, there is no shortcut to heaven. Jesus told us that the way is straight and narrow, but the other one is broad, very wide. Many are found trooping therein, but this one is straight and narrow. It can't take two persons at a time. It can't even take you and any load. So it is straight, it is narrow, but there are few. And I pray that you and I will be, will be among those that will be found going towards the straight and narrow gate until we pass through it. Now, if you have not given your life to Jesus Christ, and you're depending on oil that will be rubbed on your head so that you will make heaven in spite of all the kind of life you're living, please, it is not the right thing to do. Give your life to Jesus and accept him. For as many as received him, to then give you power to become the sons of God, even those that believe in his name. And if you're in church, you have given your life to Jesus before, but then you have been indoctrinated to believe that everything goes, all things don't go. God is a principled God. For the foundation of his word is sure with a seal. He knows those that are his. And so he admonished us, let those that name the name of Christ depart from iniquity. Thank you so much, brothers and sisters. God bless you. And for those that will be offended that I spoke about your pastor, now, I will also advise, like the other person who said I should go and ask God, but I refuse to go and ask God because God has made it clear in his word. It is there in his word. It is, it, it is something that is mysterious, that is not found in the word of God that we can go and ask God. Now, you know, and I don't even need to ask God if King Silubani is of God or not. I, I don't need to do that because from the word of God, I've seen that his messages are not of God. And he's threatening us if you discourage another person from believing the message, the blood of the person will be on your hands. Not believing in Christ. Because what Christ says is that anybody that becomes a stumbling block against one of these little ones that believes in him, now, but Kinsley's message is message of oil. So, if I have been able to convince you to refocus your attention to Christ, Kinsley is saying that I will be punished severely for that. That is actually what he's saying, that your blood will be upon my head. Brother, please don't believe the oil. You believe in Jesus. Let your blood be upon my head. As long as you believe in Jesus and your life is right, there will be no need for you to fear about your blood because you are on the right track. Well, I hope that this makes a little sense to those of you that want the truth. God bless you. Well, I'll be seeing you in the next video. Till then, from me to you, Shalom.